Hey guys, Dean Gearhart here coming at you with a mail day video and a couple pickups at a local card shop. Uh, and uh, some cards from uh, a mall show too. Starting off 1949 Bowman, Luke Appling. And then I got a 19... Uh, 1966, I want to say. Uh, near Mint to Mint. Denard Paulson. <clears throat> and then a couple, uh, Tall Boys from 1965. Uh, Rick Redman, Near Mint to Mint. And Stu Barber, near Mint to Mint. Then, uh, what's next? At a uh, card shop up in Indiana, PA. Picked up a couple, uh, what is that, 52, 51 Bowman. Uh, Andy Sinek. And... Jim Hearn. Figure for five bucks. Not a bad deal. And I got some 1964 tops that I need for my set. These all seem to be near mint. Some of them might be a little like excellent plus. Pretty clean backs. Um, Billy Morin, Gene Oliver, Unmarked Checklist, except for that little mark there, but that's like a print thing, uh, Jake Wood, Jim Coker, Floyd Robinson, <clears throat> excuse me, Bob Henderley, uh, Bill Daly, John Bateman, Jose Pagan, Don McMahon, Gus Trinados. Uh, Ron Paranoski and Willie Kirkland. So those were from a card shop up in Indiana, Pennsylvania, where I was actually born. Um, I go to visit my mom and occasionally we go up to Indiana and I hit the card shop there. So, uh, and I dig through their boxes and Pull out stuff I need for my sets. I also get some 79 uh, cards, cards, tops, baseball for my uh, second and third sets, but I've already put them away. So, uh, card show uh, about a week ago on a Sunday, I picked up a stack of these. Uh, these are 1952. Yeah, uh, got about 40 of them here. They're a little off grade. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these yet. Um, I paid two bucks a piece for them. Some, some are worse, obviously, than others, as you can see here. Um, I think I can uh, sell them and make, make a little bit of money off of them if I don't keep them from my set. Um, nothing too spectacular here. I'm really hitting my 49 Bowman set hard. I'm um, trying to get that done before I start hitting uh, these other sets. Um, but when I see deals like this, um, there's a, there's a, 
people out there that'll collect these in any condition. <clears throat> I mean, I, I prefer them to be a little better than this. I'm not looking for perfect, but... Um, you know, I, I look for deals that I think if I can make a little bit of money off to help help go towards uh, some of the bigger cards I need, then, you know, that's what I got to do. So, a couple doubles here and there. I think there's another one, but, yeah, no. So, we'll see. Yeah, there is another one there. Okay. Um, but you get the idea there. Like I said, there's about 40 of them. I paid 80 bucks for the stack. He had 100 on there. And uh, I wasn't trying to pay 100 for these. But, you know. Anyways. Uh, next up, I got uh, another Tex Coulter. For those of you not familiar, this guy is like a twin to my cousin. So, I just keep buying his card. Um and uh i put them in with my set so kind of dumb it's kind of an inside joke with my cousin but anyways and then the last thing today i got in the mail uh 1949 bowman's uh some of these i may use to upgrade a couple of my uh cards the rest i'm going to be selling so that's why i bought them and i've got more coming um, I've come to the, the conclusion that just, you know, saving up to buy certain cards isn't enough. I do need to, uh, step up my game a little bit if I'm ever going to get some of the big names I need, like the Jackie Robinson in this set and the Satchel Page. Um, the prices have just went bonkers on me. If I had to do it all over again... Uh, I would have started with those. So for those of you out there who have not started this set yet and you are interested in it, do yourself a big favor and go after the big boys first because they, they're not going to go down in value, I wouldn't think. Um, and that's, you know... When I first started this set, it was on accident. Like I said, when I was like 15, 14 or 15. I ended up getting a cigar box full of cards. And there was about 15 of these in the box. And the Campanella Rookie was in there. <clears throat> and then fast forward to 2011. When I get back into the hobby, the first thing I bought was uh, some, some of these Bowman cards. And I wish I could travel back in that time machine like everybody else. And I wish I would have uh, bought the uh, Jackie Robinson Satchel Page then. Because I would have paid a heck of a lot less than I'm going to pay now. So, But anyways, we can't change what we've done. So we can only plan ahead for the future. So... That is pretty much all I got now, guys. Uh, have a good night.